I'll show you a neat trick if you don't have a magnetic field finder. This direction is the geographic south. In other words, Antarctica is that way, and the North Pole is this way. I have here just a glass platter and a large neodymium iron boron magnet. Doesn't matter how I place it in here, I can immediately find which pole is which on the magnet. Obviously, I already have one side marked, not that that matters. And I lift it up. And if it's a smaller magnet, you just put a little bit of oil on the glass platter to make it super slick. But this magnet's large enough, it doesn't need that. And so... Okay. That direction. This has to be, therefore, the South Pole. Wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, yes, it does. In the geographic south of the Earth is where the Earth's magnetic north pole is, okay? This is not my opinion, by the way. This is a hardcore fact. And in the north, i.e. the north pole, is where the Earth's magnetic south pole is. I already have this magnet marked south here with the green cell. Obviously, this should naturally point that way to the south, so let's turn it around opposite of how it should be and just lift it up, and we're just going to shake it again, and this very heavy magnet will orientate itself to the correct polarity. And bring it back in the middle of the dish here. Well, there we go. So, whichever side is pointing towards the geographic south pole is where the Earth's magnetic north pole is, which means that this is the south pole of the magnet, which it is. I marked the south pole on this magnet with green tape. And this is the Earth's magnetic north pole, which is pointing towards the geographic north pole, which is where the Earth's magnetic south pole is. Get it? The Earth's North Pole is where the Earth's South Magnetic Pole is, and the Earth's Geographic South Pole is where the Earth's Magnetic North Pole is. Yep, got it. Inverse, one's one way geographically, the other one's the other way magnetically. Got it? Pretty simple. This is a really hardcore experiment, too, don't you know? You just place a magnet on a piece of glass. Make sure you get it away from enough of away from metal. Don't want to need, see? I was uh, too close to this uh, steel fridge before. It immediately spins. I'm going to reverse it again and show you. You don't want to get it near metal. So obviously if it's near metal, you got an influence there. Let me get it far enough away. And it immediately orientates itself. So that's as exactly as it should be. The magnet will show you the way. Thanks for watching.